as you get started in any kind of fitness and workout program, it is so important to have a good foundation. Hi, my name is Shelly Hitz. I am with Alive and Active Wellness, and my education is in physical therapy. I practiced for 12 years before launching out into our own business and ministry, and I am passionate about setting the foundation for you so that you can do this long term so that this can be sustainable for you. What I find so many people do is they get excited and then you end up doing too much or lifting too much weight or just getting burnt out and quitting. I don't want that to happen to you. I also don't want you to get injured. Now injuries are part of life. But from my background as a physical therapist, I'm going to give you some foundational keys that can help you moving forward to avoid injuries. Now, the very first thing I want you to consider is if you have any doubt at all about starting an exercise program, contact your healthcare professionals, ask your doctor. Um, if you've worked with a physical therapist, ask the physical therapist and just make sure that you know from their perspective that it's okay for you to get going. And one of the biggest keys to the types of conditioning exercises that we're gonna do is that proper form comes before increased intensity or increased weight. So one of the things I see often, even when I'm at our gym or you know seeing other people work out, is that they try to do more weight but aren't able to do it with proper form. And if you're not having the proper body mechanics and the proper form, that's when your body is more susceptible to injury. So I'm gonna teach you in future videos what that proper form is, and then you can really just stay on track and say, okay, can I do this and keep proper form? I also want you to listen to your body because your body is going to give you clues. For example, I hadn't been doing strength training for a really long time. And when I started back, I was doing some overhead stuff and some different weights and my upper traps started to get really sore. And being a physical therapist in the past, I pick up on those clues a little faster than others may, but if you're feeling it in your traps or your back or your legs, and it's lasting more than a few hours after your workout, and it's, you know, it's not a good sore, you know what I mean. And again, we'll go into this even more in future videos, but I want you to listen to your body. So for me, I ended up getting a couple massages. I was doing some stretches and I've modified my upper body exercises and the pain went away. And so <laughs> listening to your body is key. It's also essential that you warm up and cool down because what that does is it prepares your body, it helps you to get prepared for the exercises, and then also you're able to bring your body back into you know normal life, and this also is going to help you to prevent injuries. And so most of our videos will either include a warm up and cool down, or will include instructions, and you can choose your own warm up and cool down, but I know the tendency is to skip it. I was that type of person for years. <laughs> but our bodies cannot sustain that for long. Just push, 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 push. We also need to be able to, to rest. We also need to be able to slowly ramp up. And so make sure that you're including a warm up and cool down as well. And if you have not exercised for a while, you are welcome here. Personally, I cannot do all of the high-end exercises that some trainers will show you. We are in this together and I want you to start where you're at and not try to be a hero, not try to do everything that I'm doing or try to do the high end. And a lot of times that's pride and I've been there. You know, I want to be able to do all the things. And now that I'm in my mid forties, my body is telling me that I sometimes need to back down. Sometimes I need to modify because of my knees or because of my, my shoulders. 
Um, for you, it might be your back or your neck. And so if you need to start slow, I'm gonna give you some foundation exercises, some stabilization exercises, core exercises that you can start with for a few weeks before you start doing the exercises with us but you can get started. You are welcome here, and we are so excited to help lead you into a process that's gonna help you become alive and active. So we decided on the name Alive and Active Wellness because we wanna help you come alive with God's word, but also with movement. And so the verse that our whole ministry is based upon is Hebrews 4, 12. And it says, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing the soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. And so I am just thrilled to be leading you, to be encouraging you, to be on this journey with you, and that we are all able to become alive and active. CJ and I both have our own testimonies of coming through some hard times. He's lost over 50 pounds of weight. I've struggled with anxiety most of my life. And so we're here as fellow travelers in this journey. And we are learning all the time as well. And so we're so glad that you're here. Let me pray for you. So Lord, thank you so much for every person that is joining us in this journey of becoming alive and active. I just pray your blessing over them right now, Lord, just like a spark can start a campfire that just provides warmth and enjoyment. Lord, I just pray that you would give them a spark spark that helps them to become alive and active in you from your word and then also in movement and in wellness and in really just doing um, the things that you have called them to do when it comes to their bodies. And so we just pray that you would lead the way, that we would be listening to you, listening to your voice and be inspired by you. And I thank you, God, for what you're doing. And we pray all of this in Jesus name. Amen. So I'm so thrilled that you're here, and um, I have several more videos for you, like I said, in this series, so make sure to watch all the foundation videos, and I look forward to joining you as we become alive and active together.